All right, the next project we're going to do is a little fawn. There it is. It's a little fawn, little uh, baby deer, and uh, it is made from three-eighths inch thick basswood. Now, I didn't have any three-eighths inch thick basswood, so I had some half-inch, which is not that much difference. And here is the pattern for the fawn, and uh, so... Uh, this is a neat little little thing. Uh, so we're going to carve a little fawn. Uh, all right, let me get my pencil. Now, as you can see, he's got a little tail here, and we're going to come over here, and we're just going to do this. Now, uh, Let's go ahead and separate the head from, sorry, let me tell you again now, your uh, grain will be going this way. It's just a little bit, three-eighths is, of course, half inch is just a little bit uh, larger than three-eighths. So I'll just cut it down a little bit. I just didn't have any 3 inch basswood. Okay. Now there are two places. Let's look at the fawn. What a great little book. It really is. Okay. Uh... There is, uh, so you have a head and you have the tail that you have to uh, separate. Now let's look at the tail a little bit. He's got it flipping up, in other words, and it's, it's uh, so, and then of course you have your ears here. That you have to bring it down, okay? Alright, now let's start bringing this down. And let's bring the tail down. We're going to make a cut here. Boy, you make a lot of these. You can give them to kids, you can give them to people. They're just, uh, wonderful little uh, pieces. Now what Tom does is he cuts the tail down for you. And then you come up here to the tail, watch. It's a little like the fox a little bit. He, he actually brings the tail like this in other words. So we come up here, there we go, and like that, bring the tail down a little bit more, till it's, and then we Bring the top to sort of a point. Like that, see? And we're going to bring this down just a little bit, of course, in here. And, of course, over here as well. <clears throat> That see, eh? 
I want to bring it down just a little bit. A little tail okay now we just sort of shape this I'm gonna go ahead and since I'm using half inch I'm gonna go ahead and, and split the the uh, the legs like I said this is optional you can do this if you want to you don't have to Tom shows you a very simple way of doing it. Sometimes when you're teaching people, you will go the easier route so to help them because a lot of this is for beginners and uh, advanced carvers alike. And an advanced carver, I've seen where people will take patterns and, and of course do extra things to them and and stuff like that. I've seen people take uh, my hobo patterns type things and they'll uh, they'll do something extra to it or something like that. And that's great. Everybody finds their own uh, agenda of what they want to do. You don't have to do this, but I just I just want to. Do, 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 do. All right, let's come to the back of the legs here and kind of get a, I got a lot of saw marks on this thing. I may not even go try to, uh, uh, like, like I said, I may not even try to get the, uh, and let's go ahead and just, uh, I'm sorry. This is a real simple project. Okay, let's look at the, I don't know if he put, he put hoofs on him or not, uh, let's look. No. Okay. Okay. It sure is painted cute too. Alright, we're gonna... Bring this down. All right, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and draw a line where our ears are going to be. Be real careful, this is thin wood. There we go. All right, I'm gonna come up here, top. I'm just gonna kind of. 
See how I just used the tip of my knife? All right, let's bring this down. Let's look at the head first. Let's look and see what Tom is doing. He brings the he brings the uh, face forward. Here it is. Basically, he just kind of brings the face forward. Ha! Ah. We look at it. Just sort of brings the face down and the ears down, and uh, like that. Okay. piece there was didn't want to didn't want to come right And we'll bring this down. Turn it around. Take those ears and bring them back a little bit. There we go. There we go. I'll bring it back a little bit more. Bring the ears forward a little bit. I'm going to bring this. There we go. And we're going to bring this down some. But be careful. There we go. It's kind of Mm -hmm. those ears kind of. See, he just basically brings this front forward. Let me show you again. Mm -hmm. See how he does it? He just sort of brings that all forward like that, in other words. That's what he does. Okay? Go. 
I said, use the tip of your knife. That, see? I'm going to bring that tail down a little bit more. Okay, now let's look at look at our piece. I try to get it as close to how Tom uh, see. This is our piece, and if we kind of put it up against the kind of put it up against there, and we get we're awful close. We're awful, awful close to what we are needing. In other words, there. This is I told you it's a it's a real real simple project basically shaping and rounding and stuff like that yeah if you put it up that's that's what I do a lot of times is uh, you take the take the little picture and the picture is almost the, the identical look at that side of it and and you just got a great great little project there okay i'm gonna thin this up just a little bit and see i came between the legs in the front but i'm not going to do it in the middle really hard to get my knife in there I have a Dremel Moto tool I can cut all the way through there. You can do that. But we're not we're not carving with a Dremel. Ah, <laughs> uh, she don't don't give away your secrets, Gene. <laughs> oh, that's there is no secret to carving. Carving is an enjoyable thing for everybody. And the more you learn, the more you learn, the more I, I love it because uh, you know I'm I'm gonna be gone one day and if I can I hope that's what the videos are for I'll be gone one day and then I hope that they stay there to help people learn and enjoy this wonderful hobby uh, I just, not bragging, I just passed 1,800 videos. And I have enjoyed doing it. I remember the first one I ever did, Whittling a Face. All right, let me, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, he's through as far as I'm concerned. Go ahead and wet him. Uh, we don't usually get them done in one, one uh, lesson, but we did this time. Uh, YouTube is allowing me more time to, because uh, I have so many videos, they're allowing me more time to uh, have videos now. There we go, look at that. Isn't that cute? That's just as cute as a button. I, I'm enjoying painting him too. I love the way Tom painted him. All right, that's our little uh, fawn. And uh, we're going to our next little project. Wonderful. God bless now.